This is a coach from Festival 534. Guys, just in the old dunk is just in the process of washing the van. But uh, got the hitch, jockey wheel, and handbrake at the front that we'll take you through in person here on site. We've got the front locker with your gas bottle or with the gas bottle in and gas pipe work going up to the regulator. The gas, fit, uh, gas pipe work going into the bottle is a reverse red fitment and you've got your gas valve on top of the bottle that you need to turn on off when you are traveling down the road. You can carry a maximum of two six kilogram propane gas bottles in the front of the van at any time. So a maximum of 12 kilos of gas on the caravan. Split over two bottles. On this side of the van, you've got your battery locker. So when you're here on site, this will be opened up so you can see where the power lead goes into on the side of the van. Um, and we'll also demonstrate the motor mover and the power switch, etc. that is in there while you are here. You've got the wind down leg on either side at the front to stabilize the caravan. You'd never lift the caravan with the wind down legs. It is just there for stabilizing the van while it is on site. On the side of the van, you've got the fridge vents also on the far side of the van. So these fridge vents allow the hot air out the side of the fridge unit. And behind this cover on this end or behind this end, you've also got the gas flue for the gas system on the fridge. Locker at the back of the van where you can access the storage in the back of the van. Um, you can also access that from underneath the bed inside. The water pump pushes into the side of the van and you've got two tabs that you can lock down into position here at the top and one at the bottom to allow the water pump to stay in place while it's in use. Um, it could potentially pop out if you haven't got them locked in. On the back here, you've got a cover for the gas flue for the heating and hot water systems and you will need to remove that cover prior to igniting anything on gas inside the van. On the rear of the van, I haven't got them down at the moment, but again, you have got your wind down legs on the rear to stabilize the caravan again. In the center of the van at the rear, you've got your two gray waste pipes, look a bit like exhaust pipes, but they're actually the gray waste pipes. So that is the fresh water system, not the toilet, or the fresh water that goes into the van that goes through the sink, sinks and the shower will actually come out of here and there is no toilet waste that comes out of that area. On this side of the van at the rear, you've got the toilet waste cassette in here. So you pull the yellow handle up at the bottom and pull the cassette out. The neck here turns out to allow you to tip the waste away. And on the back of the set cassette, you've got a yellow pressure relief button to allow you to tip the waste away without it spitting and splattering back at you. Through this neck here, you'll actually put a litre of water in and a cap full of the blue fluid prior to use. At the top here, you've got your toilet flush tank. So you'll open this up, put three and a half litres of water in here prior to use and a cap full of the pink fluid. We then just got a hot air vent here, so it's an awning warmer essentially. So when the heating's turned on inside the van, you can allow the heat to come out to the awning if you've got the blown air on. You've got a three pin socket to allow you to get um, power out to the awning again if you want to run some lights for instance in the awning. And then you've got your barbecue gas point and your other wind down leg at the front of the van. Let me go on the inside of the van now and take you through the operation on the inside. So above the door, as you come in, You've got your master power switch above your head. So this is master power on. You've got your water pump, your internal lights, your awning light, and your voltmeter for the battery on board the van. We're gonna take you through how to fill the water system first. So you're gonna come underneath the bed at the rear of the caravan. And underneath here, you'll actually notice there is a drain down valve, or two drain, uh, one drain down valve, sorry, on this particular system, down underneath the bed area. That yellow valve, oh sorry, there is actually two drain down valves, sorry. One on the cold side and one on the hot. So you're gonna need to make sure both of these drain down valves are parallel with the floor before you start filling the water system. Um, because if they're open, it'll actually drain all of the water straight back onto the floor underneath the caravan. To drain the system down, you'd point both the valves up towards the bottom of the seat or bottom of the bed. So it allows the water out the bottom of the van. So like I said, to fill the system parallel with the floor with the two yellow valves, you then come over to every tap on board the caravan. You actually notice I've already filled the system on board the van, but you're going to open every tap on the hot side. I'm actually going to shut them off for me because I've already bled the system. So that's the shower in the bathroom um, and also the sink in the washroom area and the tap in the kitchen. You're going to open them all up on the hot side. As you can see, already done it. They're already bled. But you open all the taps up, turn on the water pump button above the door so the red light comes on and then the water system will start filling from the ACRO on the outside of the van. Once the system's full, 
you'll have water coming out of every tap continuously on the caravan. Once the water is coming out continuously out of every tap, you can shut each tap back off. And once you've got the water system full, you can actually then start thinking about warming the water on board the caravan. So like I said, yellow valves underneath the seat in the parallel with the floor position, so flat with the floor, upright to drain them, all the taps open to fill the water system with the aqua roll connected on the outside, so all the taps on the hot side, then you'll press the water pump button above the door and that'll start filling the system. Shut the taps off when the system is completely full and water is running continuously out of every tap and then you can start warming the water. So to warm the water on board the caravan, down here below the seat, you've got your electric water heating, so you can turn this switch on here to allow the water tank to warm up on electric. And above it, you've got the option to run gas water heating. To get it to ignite on gas, you spin the outer dial round to the gas symbol. It will self ignite on gas. The green light is your pilot light essentially. And the red light that may appear in a moment is the fail light, if that appears, then the gas system has failed to ignite on the water heater. The green light stays on like it has now. You can control the temperature of the water heater between 30 and 70 degrees of water temperature. And right on cue, as I say, it stayed ignited. It's actually failed. The reason being the gas is turned off in the front of the caravan that we put on there just to demonstrate the van. So like I said, once it's on, green light, and then the temperature above it is the temperature the water will warm up to. You will need to use the gas side of the water heating to boost the system while you're showering on board the van. To run the heating system on board the caravan, you've got two ways of doing it. You've actually got electric heating and gas heating. To operate the gas heater, I'm just trying to see where the control's gone. Sorry, I do apologize. I haven't repaired myself here. Oh, probably over here. So the electric, uh, the electric side of the room heating is controlling this dial down here. Down the side here, you've got a switch that says 500, 1000 and 2000 watts. Now what this relates to is the amount of power coming into the caravan from the caravan site you're on. So for instance, if you're on a site where you can run 500 watts, you'll spin this outer grey dial to the 500 at the side. Then you control the temperature of the heater on the dial in the centre. Obviously the higher you go with the power that's coming into the caravan, the more efficient the heating system will be on will be on electric. Like I said though, it will depend on the power you've got coming into the caravan from the caravan site you're on to how high you can run this. To turn it off, you'll spin the dial back to the zero position, which is the off position, but this dial in the center controls the heat of the heater. And again, whatever numbers above the green light is the temperature the heater will warm up to. Next up, we've got the heat, the actual heating uh, system or the actual heater itself. On the left hand side, you've got a dial here that controls the fan speed if you were to run the heating on blown air. Down the bottom here, we've got a switch that controls whether the heat comes out the front of the heater or the blown air systems on either side. The dot in the center indicates the heat is gonna come out the front of the heater just here. The, the wave symbol here is gonna indicate that the blown air comes out the vents around the caravan in different locations on continuous blown air. And the A is essentially an automatic blown air, which means it will cut in and out with the thermostat on board the caravan. On the right hand side here, you've got the option to run gas heating. So you spin the dial round to between 10 and nine to operate the gas heater, press the dial in and hit the igniter a bit like you would with your barbecue or your hob at home, for instance. Once it has ignited and you've got a pilot light in this window down below, you hold down the gas valve for five to 10 seconds, then slowly release the gas valve. Once, like I said, it's ignited, you can control the temperature on the dial on top between one and nine. To turn the gas supply off, once you've finished using it, you turn the dial all the way back past the zero here and that'll turn the gas off to the heater itself. The last thing we go through on this caravan is in the front, of the, in the back of the van, which is the toilet system. The toilet system has a pump flush on top, so you'd have to pull the handle that says Thetford up on it, on it up and, and push down to pump the toilet system. The indicator that you see here with the light symbol in it is actually to indicate to you that the toilet waste cassette is completely full on the caravan. And you have a toilet seat, uh, the toilet seat here does actually turn for your convenience. 
But when you are emptying the waste cassette from underneath the van, you do need to make sure the toilet cassette is pointing straight across the caravan towards the wall on the left-hand side of video. And that turns by simply turning the top of the toilet system, as you can see here. However, if you don't turn that, it will not allow you to remove the waste cassette from underneath or in the side of the van. On the bottom of the toilet, you can't actually see it from here, but there's actually a gray waste handle on the other side, and you'll need to pull that waste handle towards the shower compartment to allow the toilet waste to go in the cassette under the van. You will need to make sure that is open before you use the loo, because unlike a household toilet, it won't have, or loo, sorry, it won't have the water in the bowl like you do at home. Like I said, when you're done, you pump flush the toilet on top, then we advise you shut the flap back off so the smells don't come back inside the caravan. If you have any further questions on the Coachman Festival 534, please do give us a call here at the Caravan Company and we'd be more than happy to help. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoy the caravan.